Good morning, another morning of Relax and Paint. And I want you to look at these tulips and think how fun this is to put it on just, um, this is art paper, it's gray art paper, but it could be um, a canvas and you've sponged the background. I have a really light medium gray on this paper that I'm using, but I just wanted something really quick that I could show you um, how you could achieve this. And it's a little bit different in texture and how we load the paint. So let's look at the paint that we're talking about. So I think that you'll like that there was some brightness in the, in the tulip itself and wispy strokes. And I'm using daffodil yellow. Here's some of the multi-surface paints I'm using. Some of them still had the folk art uh, emblem on it, but a lot of them should be looking like this. And even with a clear cap instead of a black cap. So they, they change the bottles quite often depending on the retailer, just to let you know that. Uh, I've got a medium gray wicker white, daffodil yellow. Then I have, um, this is bright pink, which is a neon. And um, we have um, magenta and citrus green and sap green. So I just wanted to let you see to get started here. And if you look at the practice strokes, I actually showed you how to use some um, light and fluffy modeling paste to get some texture in the flowers and in the leaves. So that was last Friday. So please go look at that getting texture. We're going to do it without texture today. And then I want you to think about uh, going and trying some of that in the future. Okay. So I'm going to put the paint to the side and I'm going to draw a glass. All right. So I want the majority of the top of this for the flower. Okay. And then, so I'm going to come right about here, which is five fingers tight from the top edge here. I mean, from the bottom edge. So we're going to, um, we're going to take and make an oval. And I'm kind of centering this on my paper, okay? And then it's just coming straight down. And you're just sketching it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, all right. And what you're going to see in that are some of the leaves are going to come out of there, the stem. But we're going to have this come across the back in an oval. And if you had the bottom of the base showing, you'd do that same look on the inside, which this makes you see that's the back. When it's down inside the base, it looks like you're looking down into it. All right, so that's the first thing I want to do. And I do want to um, go ahead and work on the flower itself. And then we will come back in. And before we do stems, we want to do the back of the vase. All right, so I've just got a, a mechanical pencil, inexpensive with a white eraser. Okay. And what I want to do here is I'm going to come into my vase and into my vase right here. All right, so the first flower I wanna do is I'm gonna draw this and I want it pretty big. Okay. All right, now what we're gonna do is we have some back petals. All right. And after you do these back petals, we're gonna come in front with some of the front petals, but I'm gonna just sketch it in so you kind of see what you're looking for. So this one's gonna come on crossed in front. You got one back here. Okay. Now this one right in here is gonna let you peep at the center. See how we wanna peep inside the center. Right, so I made the petal kind of come and here's the center. All right, we're gonna do all kinds of nice strokes inside that center. And then this one will come up and you might even see one out here. 
All right, so I'm just kind of sketching that in, even though we're going to cover up some of this. It's kind of nice for you to see where it's going to go. All right. So now what's going to happen is this one that goes behind. So what's going to happen here is it scoops. It's up here. You want to see the scoop down here on this one. It's going to be bigger and open kind of. So then the stem's going to come inside there. All right. But this is tilted towards me. Now this one over here is coming all the way behind here. And then it's going to come over here. And so this we're going to paint from the back coming forward. So the forward one is going to show up here. And then this one right here is going to go right there. We have a little bit over here and a little bit over there. So I will put these back ones on first. Okay. I might do something different with this petal here, but we're gonna get the back one on first and then I'll decide. All right. So I think I've got this a little too high. So this is a perfect time for you to erase and change this as depending on what you want it to look like. So I want this to be smaller. This is open and I got kind of big on this. So I'm gonna come back around here and you guys do this with me, it's kind of fun. And we're gonna have some around here. And then this front one is gonna come just like that, okay? So I think that's better when you can see. And then this, these stems go all the way in here. All right, so that's all we have to do to get started, okay? So what I wanna do is down, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna start, I keep wanting to start down here, but let's go up here. So I dampen my 16 flat Donna Dewberry one stroke brushes. All right, and so we're gonna come right back here and I'm going to do some daffodil and some white. Okay, so I get this all loaded with daffodil and white on the 16, okay? Then what I wanna do is I'm grabbing medium to work it in. All right, and then I'm gonna come over here, guys, and I'm going to get some of both of these colors. So if you look at this, I'm gonna come right in here and then pick up some over here. So I think I've got lost some of my yellow, but we're gonna do this background first, okay? So I'm gonna start over here. I'm gonna push down and I'm gonna brush in. So I needed some yellow, a little bit more yellow here. Okay. Now we're gonna come in here. So I don't like that edge super straight, but I can pull a little bit like that. See a little bit of something on there makes it look better. And I'm gonna pick up the pink. I keep wiping on the paper towel and then pick it up pink with teeny bits of white. Will give us a nice look over here. A little bit more white and pink. There we go. And I can come back in here. So see, this looks a little orange. I can come back in here with some pinks later. Get a different look. All right. So see how I'm pulling? Get a little bit of yellow here. And you see the pressure I put and then I lifted. All right. So this is kind of looking inside the flower. I can make that yellow shine a little bit more <clears throat> and my pink is like I said turned a little too orange <clears throat> so I can come in here and pull more pink in there grab just yellow 
see that yellow there? And now let's add some white to it. And I want it kind of rustic. Does that make sense? I don't want it smooth like we usually do. A little bit there. And this needs to have the white. So if I put that white into this yellow, see how it makes it like really brighter. That's really important. All right. So then <clears throat> we're going to put some pretty center, but <clears throat> excuse me. I'm going to get the magenta and the bright pink, kind of work that together. And then what's going to happen, there's some green coming up in here, but across here, guys, I'm going to come around like this. I'm going to bring up some magenta up into here. There we go. Around here. Okay, so that's the underneath of that petal. Now I can turn this this way and grab, see how I'm going right into the white and coming here and pulling it around ever so lightly. Okay, so that should just look like, and pull some pink back up into there. That should just look like it's a petal that's up, like face coming towards you when you saw. We'll watch that again and see how I put that in there. Okay, now I'm going to come in here with a little bit of citrus and white, a little bit of citrus and white. There we go. All right, and we have a couple of spots in here, right there, and right there, where you would see the center here. All right, so see that citrus I put in there? There's one, two, three, and if I wash that out, I can pick up a little bit of that magenta right in here and pull it right through there. See how that magenta came between those? That kind of, that'll make that look better. And you, you really don't see it over here. Okay. So what I do have right in here, let's just dry it off a little bit, is this is a little bit darker in here. So this petal in front looks like it's in front. See? It's kind of interesting. Touch, pull, touch, pull. All right. Put a little bit more white right there. So this is kind of fun. Um, you have to make sure that that's going to be inside first. And then I can come over here with white. I'm picking up the two pinks and the white. And I'm going to come right across the front here. And bring it down. There we go. With just a little bit of white. See how I'm brushing it in? Okay. And on this one side, it has a little bit of yellow. So I can come here and grab some more yellow and put it into that white. So this should look like a petal that's kind of laying down a little bit, laying out. And then I took a little bit of pink right here so you can see the center of the petal a little bit. All right, and then right in here, it has a little bit of that yellow coming down. So put pressure and lift. All right, so that's a front petal. You want it to look like it's in front of that. So you put a little bit of white there. You see that? Okay, so then I'm going to come on this other side. And we have a little bit of that magenta coming down. And I can do a little bit of this darker pink right here. That's magenta with a little bit. So these petals are down here. in here. 
Let's open a white. So see, that should look like this one is in front, but it doesn't look like it's in front of that. So let's do this. And then aren't those dreamy colors? Okay, so last thing here is yellow and white. And it's going to come right across here. And where you decide where to put this is we're going to come just like this and have that white. Let's see. All right, so this white comes up from here. All right, so hopefully you're looking inside your flower. All right, and I could put a little bit more pink and yellow right in here. Okay. And then the stem's gonna come under there. Okay, so we're gonna go back now to the second flower, which I really should have put on before this flower, but I was so excited about doing this flower. All right, so what's gonna happen? I'm gonna get just a little bit of, um, you could use dark green, like sap green, because it looks almost black, and use a two flat. And so I can come in here and put what's on the center inside that makes it look like kind of poppy with a tulip too. Okay. See where they have, that's just the uh, little accents that are on top of the center there, but you could have stamens there. Just gonna put a little one back here. Oops, I got water in that. So look, I'm gonna pick up that water. When I clean that brush off there, there we go. So it just looks like a couple different stamens. All right. So I use, instead of licorice, I did use the sap green. All right. So let's come in here again. So the back petal is we're gonna mix the two, the bright pink and magenta. And I'm going to go ahead and put this back here first. Okay. And I can put a little bit of this pink back in here. Okay, but really what I wanna see is a teeny bit of white in here. I mean, I, I stroke that a little bit into the pink just on my palette. All right, so there's that. And then over here, I can put a little bit of white on this side, wipe my brush, grab some, this here, grab a little bit of white, and this is wicker white and daffodil yellow, and this is floaty medium. I don't know if I made that clear floating medium. All right, so I'm going to come right in here and rub that into that pink a little bit. So if that doesn't work, I can take the pink back up into it. So I like some of that really light pink in there. There we go. A little bit more white. There we go. All right, so I do, well, I've got that little bit of white. I do wanna do a little bit on here. Cause sometimes even the pink wasn't showing as good at first. There we go. All right, so it does get a little bit darker down in here because that's going to be in between the petals, right? So a little bit of magenta down in here. Okay. 
And sometimes these have a little bit of white vein in there or some pink vein in there. I don't know if y'all could see that, but that makes a little bit of a difference. Rub that in. Okay, so, so this is a stork that comes in here, All right? So I am going to put right in here, this back one is a little bit brighter. And I want this to look like it's on top. So I apologize. I should have put that first. Sometimes I get into it and go, what was I thinking? All right. So now all I'm going to do is come back since I did that and then make this look like it's on top. Okay. See how now that looks like it's over there. But down in here, it had a little bit of yellow pulling up into it. Okay. Now that doesn't look like much until I put the front pedal, this pedal. Now it did have a little bit of pink through here. See, I'm just going from the bottom. It even had a teeny bit of citrus. And there, curving up from that. I was just looking to see if there's any citrus in here at all. Okay. Now, all what we're going to concentrate is the top. So if I work a little bit of that bright pink, and then I'm picking up white. Okay, teeny bit of white. So this is going to be a little ruffle here. And that's, this, that's that part that comes down. A little bit of yellow with the white. Work it in. Then what we can do is I'm going to do this along here. Then I'm going to pull down. Okay, so on the other side, I had a little bit more pink in there. Okay, so we're going to pull that down. Okay, so what happens after I get that and I feel like it's a little too, too white, then I can bring up some pink in here, yellows in there. a little bit of yellow. There we go. Okay, so like I said, a little teeny bit of indention in here. Let's see if a little bit of green works with that. All right, I'm going to leave that. Now you won't see stamens or anything on this one. Okay. But what I would see is a little bit of white in here. Like maybe it's the petal up underneath. There we go. A little bit of white in here. So touch and pull. You can do this very simple strokes to make it look like back, front. We have a little bit more white in here. Whoops, I did really crazy on that, didn't I? I even went higher than I wanted to be, but that's okay. Let's just bring this on around a little bit. Okay. And then a little bit of white on here. All right, so that looks like a petal that's open. It's on top of this petal. Okay. I do have a little bit of glare white in here. 
Yeah, see, that's pretty. Just had a little bit of white on it. See how just touches will make a difference. All right, that was the fun part. <laughs> I just think really pretty on this gray and how pretty that looks. All right, you don't want to leave because we've got leaves to do. But the first thing I wanted to do is I want to get some floating medium on this three quarter inch brush. And I'm going to pick up some medium gray with a touch of white. Okay, this is floating medium and it's water based. It goes with acrylic. It's the fluff that's inside paint with no color in it. So see, I'm gonna curve around here, curve around there. All right, so this is just wet. This isn't the color. All right, so what I'm concentrating on, guys, is just this color here. So a little bit of that comes there, and then it's gonna come across the front, but I'm putting the stems in first. So I have to come back and do this, this front part. So right now what we're doing is just getting the base in here, okay, with medium and gray. And I'm gonna come straight down here, a little bit more gray. This is medium gray. All right, it's not straight. And the problem with getting it straight is I got bigger and bigger, but it's not, I didn't go too far, so that's good. And then this side, All right, so I'm gonna chisel edge of this so I see it, but then I want it to blend. So I'm gonna come down now. All right, so we want this to look like a clear glass. All right, but so, so the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna put a little bit more of the medium gray wash down there, All right? And I'm going to put the green in first, and then we're going to come back. So I'm getting both colors, the citrus and the sap. Okay, so I'm going to come here. I'm going to lead with the citrus. So we're going to grab this base down here. And then I'm going to pull it into my base. And you don't have to let that dry. You can go right into it. And then this is going to be right in here. So we're going to do the same thing in here. All right. So see how simple that was. Now I'm going to get some more medium, work this in. You really need medium with these long leaves. All right. Now I want this not to just be this color. I want to pick up a little bit of white and work it into just, I didn't work it in too much though, just a little bit into the citrus green. So I'm gonna start here and then I'm gonna push down and stand up and curve into the vase. All right, now I want that dark up there, but I'm gonna go back to the citrus and I'm gonna come right in here and put the citrus on the outside. So on the outside here was the sap. And then I came down. Then I came back and flipped the brush. And under here, I'm putting the citrus. And then I'm coming down. But see the white on there gives it a really nice look. You can come in here and hit, hit about right here. And then put pressure and stand up. And even get a little bit more white across here. All right, but then I do need to bring that, oops, I got that white in there, wipe it off. I then do need to come here with this green and pull it in just a little bit and under here. See that? 
a little bit more. So I'm gonna come here, chisel, pressure, chisel into the base. All right, I'm gonna take it right in here. All right, so then I'm going to also have another one that comes in here. Put pressure down, I'm leading with the light, medium again. I'm leading with the dark on the outside and coming to right there. And I'm gonna then come up and put the dark on the other side. All right, and then look what happens. I'm gonna go across the whole tip of that flat brush with white. All right, so I'm gonna start right here, push down and turn. All right, well, I don't want it to be just like this. So I can come back in here and then lift as I'm, as I'm coming down, I just kind of lift lightly. So I'm touching this like a feather, very light. All right. I'm going to work on this tip here for a minute with the 12. So I'm coming right in here. See that? I can also get a teeny bit of the white right here. Get some white in here. There. Don't try to do it smooth. Just leave it like I did with the flower. Just leave some little bit of um, abstract, like not smooth, smooth, okay? And then on here, I just laid it like this and the light hits it and it's a little bit of dark. A little bit more dark. All right, isn't that kind of fun? <laughs> I'm having a good time with this. This is more than I usually, I can do this flower really quick, but I wanted you to do something with a little bit more detail and see if you can accomplish this and how fun it is. But if you've done one stroke with me for a while, you can just like one stroke and have this leaf done. But I'm just wanting to play around a little bit. Oops. And when I did, I did that crud. <laughs> So my nail hit it, so I'm gonna to have to add some to it. There we go. I didn't wanna add that, but I had to. All right, so down in here, the shadows coming across here. So this is what's gonna happen. All right, I'm going to come right over the glass and see here's the rim of the glass. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the citrus and I'm coming right down here to a point. So then this inside the base would be the underneath. Okay. Now I am going to just put a teeny bit of white. There we go. Wow, isn't that fun? There we go. My great way to start your morning. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little bit of white, white. All right, now this green really has to be dry before I do any of the, the water line, but so I'm gonna blow dry really quick. Okay, so the last thing I want to do here is put our little water line. So I'm going to go ahead and use my 12 flat. Okay, and I'm going to actually put a teeny bit of yellow with the white. White, a little bit of medium gray. Okay, and I'm going to come right along here. 
And this is the line we're going to have comes under here and around. Oops. Okay, now the water line down here is going to hit about right here. That's not the water line I did. I'm sorry that above there is the edge of the vase. So we have a little bit of water in here. Okay, I'm not really doing blue. I'm doing a little bit of gray. Okay, a little bit of gray. Then I hit it with a touch of white. Just little bits of white. Now this yellow is pr pretty bright, so I just want to take a little bit more. White across there. Put a little bit of gray there. And this has a little bit of yellow in here, which is like where the water would be. <laughs> I know I don't use this in much detail, but I was just wanting to have fun with this. So I hope that you guys enjoy the process. It's step by step to make this happen. This is just a fun little experiment. I'm working with strokes a little bit more than normal. Okay, so there we go. I'm still going to come in and take this away a little bit with some gray. Okay, there we go. And then I'm just going to pick up some white, touch it so it's not too much and come down, a little bit of white there, a glare of white across here, okay? And then little bits of white coming down this side. All right, hope y'all enjoyed that. I'm gonna sign it. And isn't that kind of fun? Take pictures and um, put it on our Facebook group. I would love for you guys to come join my One Stroke Advantage membership. It's a YouTube membership that teaches you so much more in full length lessons. It's only $9.99 a month. I would love for you to join me right here on this site instead of just saying subscribe. You say join and you'll see all the details. Okay. I'm going to put just a touch of highlight on the stamens. All right. You can come in here with a little bit. How fun is that, guys? I'm going to put a little bit more weight right there. Okay, have a good week. Please watch practice strokes and we'll see you next week.